Hey guys. Back at it again, you know, with me, not the white bands. Today is going to be a special day because we're going to do a Q&A asked by myself. I know I've let you down a billion times. I don't know what else to say except I'm sorry. It's hard being here or working through it. What's a song you should listen to if you're ever feeling down? I'll put it right here. Um, Life is Worth Living by Justin Bieber. What's my favorite food? Pause. No, I would say that my favorite food is lasagna, but so boring. What has been a piece of advice that has stuck with you? Everything is in time, just as I have tattooed here. Like everything takes time for a reason and everything will happen for a reason when it happens for a reason. When was a time where you were feeling really low? I've had multiple. A really rough time would say when my grandpa passed away. What's something that makes you happy? This makes me happy, very, very happy. My son. Good job. <laughs> What's your favorite season? Summer. Like this morning, I woke up and I went to my parents' room, and my mom had her window open. And the smell of summer, it was just like I don't know how to explain it, but it was so yummy. What's something that makes me happy and sad? University. Ah! Making a sandwich. If you had any superpower, what would it be? To somehow make people happy, to somehow be able to just like switch them. Not just in like the sense that you're happy, you know, but like be able to just kind of, I don't know, I don't know. What's something that I wish would be different? Politics or it's a very broad and like there's a lot to it, but hatred, I would say. Yeah. Where would you see yourself in 10 years? Damn, that's a hard question. Probably done by bachelors. Have a job. Be ready to buy a house. Favorite YouTuber, favorite singer. Favorite singer, Justin Bieber. By far, Justin Bieber. Favorite celebrity, Justin Bieber. Favorite YouTuber, Emma Chamberlain. I think she inspires a lot. I don't want to sound cliche, but whatever. I don't give a bleep. Favorite scientist? Hmm. Albert Einstein. He just gave a new light to everything. And people branched off of that for so many different ways, which is amazing. When I go take a picture in Washington uh, at the statue that he has with like his letter. Favorite drink? Water. Water saves your life. Anybody else have an emotional attachment to a water bottle and can't go anywhere without it? Favorite movie watched so far? I actually just came from the movie theater last night. Elvis Presley. What a good movie. Let me tell you about it for like just two seconds. Just knew like it was Elvis Presley, but we didn't know that he he was he lived at the same time as Martin Luther King, or maybe some people did, but I'm sorry. I, don't, I didn't like he was white and he grew up in a black neighborhood he would dance like how he was taught wanted him to stop because it they felt it was inappropriate just because it was like black dancing and stuff and he still did it I, di I didn't I actually didn't know like it was like there was that stuff related to it and oh my gosh I can't explain it like I'm not good at talking in this type of things because it's always up here and it's never down he <laughs> here when I speak it out. You know, it's hard doing this because although I'm like talking to like two people, it's like a different structure and I feel like I can say what I want. I have a little bit of a voice. Last night I was crying because of everything that was going on. And I was watching so many TikToks with so many girls, like literally just like crying on TikTok, talking about their experiences and how they felt and how it was just so wrong. And I completely agree. 
but what hurts the most is that there's not much that we can do about it like yeah we like are talking about it we're trying to bring awareness to it but we're literally just a piece of gray on this earth that hurts okay goodbye natters make sure to kiss your loved ones goodbye